So we are, mm, yeah, we're picking carrots today. We've got a lot of carrots here that we've planted very close together. We planted the seeds, just kind of scattered them out and, and never, never thinned them. Carrots. And we have rainbow carrots. Yeah, too. Got all colors, I guess. They got yellow. <laughs> oh, yellow and orange. So we have tons and tons of carrots that we've never thinned. A lot of them are tiny. And I know, <laughs> I know, yeah, <laughs> they're really tiny. And, uh, and some of them are big. So I don't know. I don't know if densely planting carrots is the best thing or not, but it seems to be working. We're still getting quite a harvest of carrots, it seems. We're coming across some really big ones and it's just really fun. <laughs> I already did right there, guys. If you want to move over past it, no, we it's really good right here. Yeah, Lizzie's already got a bunch just from this is my past 30 yeah. seconds. Daddy, I'm yeah, this is a jackpot big one. You gotta be careful not to step on them because there's a ton that are growing in the end. This is a jackpot big one. <laughs> like, no, uh, oh, I think I got a big one. Did Whoa, you? that's kind of big, huh? That's way bigger than all the other ones. Oh, good job, Amy. Oh, that's we used the same huge, method for our beets. Wow. Yeah. What was that? We used the same method where we just sprinkled seeds everywhere for our beets. Wow. Yeah, but these ones are doing better. We've got a lot more big beets than we have big carrots, right? Yes. Got a lot of weeds still too. This is so great. Uh huh. This <laughs> this was the one. Beets were the one pro uh, product. <laughs> beets were the one crop that we were absolutely sure that we couldn't live without and we're so happy that they've done well. Look at that. Wow. Did you have to search very hard for those or were they just about, right there? Happy about we grow a lot of food because we don't want to buy sugary stuff at the store. Yeah. You're right. You like that carrot? Is that a good treat? Yeah. They taste like candy. Yeah, they kind of do, don't they? Hey, great. And we have a, a orange carrot. Oh yeah. I mean, an orange pumpkin, I mean. Yes, we do. Should we go show them? Okay. There's a, look at that. There's a banana squash. That's not a pumpkin, but that's a big one. Fun. Its leaves are a little yellow, though. We need to give something to that. Remember when we were running through the big cornfield, now ours is getting big. Isn't yeah. that fun? Now we're going to run in my neighbor's Yeah. Okay. Got a lot of big sunflowers around here. Yeah. So pretty. Like yeah, it's fun. You want to see a watermelon? <laughs> sure. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful watermelon. Are you excited about that, Emmy? It's awesome, huh? Yeah. Look at this one. Yeah, that's a pretty good one. <laughs> hey, we've gone on a little field trip to look at the corn, and now we're back to see that Lizzie has gotten a lot of carrots. Awesome. And Mommy has gotten, t whoa. <laughs> that's more than I even saw just a minute ago. Do you want pickled beets? Ooh, yeah. Ooh, that needs to be so painted they're too. All, they're not all as big as this one, but they were all touching. Huh. We, we have to, with the carrots and the beets, we have to keep thinning or they will not grow bigger. Because hmm. they're all, I mean, they're, they're all touching. They're all like that in the dirt. So are you picking these all out of one spot or just Barricated, all over the place? Kind oh. of leaving a chessboard behind. Oh, awesome. Well, at least that's what I've, I've been doing. Yeah. I don't know what the kids have been doing. <laughs> Oh, that's a nice, that's, that. that's totally right. That. These are great. Yeah, these are the right size. Those pointy ones are a different variety than the, than the squatty, nubby ones. So these ones are those mini ladyfinger carrots, I think, something like that. We better go rinse them because when they uh, sit in the hot sun and without cold water on them, they get soft. Yeah, and actually if we want to store them, all we have to do is put them in Not slightly them. damp dirt. Yes. Which means, yeah, don't pick them or so, put it back in dirt. This is our harvest and I, honestly I think I want to leave the rest. Yeah. Wait till next year. Yeah. I mean, I, mean, or, I want well, to thin them out is what yeah. I mean. 
thin these out and then leave them. So. Yeah. So just eat them. Or only, only pick as much as we can eat in a day or two. And we've we've picked a few broccoli and squash and cabbage. Squash and the cabbage. Look at this caterpillar, Daddy. Look at this caterpillar. <laughs> it does look like one. Should we wash them, Lizzie? Delicious. <laughs> can I eat your caterpillar? Hmm? Can I have a bite? Okay. Mmm. Mmm. That is delicious. Okay, well we're gonna wash off these vegetables and stick them in the pile of the other vegetables that we already washed. picked. Washed. And we'll show you what our harvest for the afternoon was. Wow, it's our own private farmer's market. This is so awesome. Dad, we don't have a booth of this. No, we won't. We don't have very many customers though, do we? Yeah. <laughs> Us all winter long. Yeah, that's exactly right. So we've had a few suggestions actually that we okay. take our excess produce and sell it. Well, we don't have any excess produce. This is actually not quite enough. Mm -hmm. yeah. We'd love to have about five times more than this. Not today, you know, yeah, like not today, but overall we know that we need a bigger garden or we need to uh, be a little bit more thoughtful in how we plant things and perhaps a little bit better at keeping the weeds down and uh, a few other things. But we've learned some things this year with, today, with this year's garden and the year isn't over yet. So. This is here in spite of the weeds, so I think. Yeah. It's doing pretty well. So just think what we could do if we actually thinned our carrots at the right time of year and weeded and if we had ducks to eat the the bugs out of our cabbage. So what are we going to make tonight with all this food? Mm. Well, I think I was going to pickle the beets and then I was going to make um, also potato, broccoli, carrot soup. Potato, broccoli, carrot. Oh, I like soup. Like a stew, like a cheese and broccoli stew. Ooh, with uh, extra. A creamy milk based one. Ooh, yum. Sounds delicious. Well, this is fun. This is really exciting and really beautiful. Wow. All right, well Banjo and I finished our paintings and they are available to bid on. And the link to that is below in the description. Also, if you are interested in seeing this entire process in real time for both me and Banjo, go to our Patreon account where I will be uploading this full length uh, painting process for just a very small monthly subscription fee. And that will also give you instant access to the, all the others that I will be uploading as well. Um. Well, thanks you guys for joining us. We will go make dinner right now, but uh, we will show you what we are doing to pickle these beets. It's kind of a fun process. And we'll probably even pickle some broccoli. And so, carrots. And we could pickle carrots too. We really could. Or ferment them. That might be yummy. Yeah, we could try that. Or pickle, pickle. <laughs> All right, <laughs> or pickled pickles. <laughs> All right, you have a great rest of your day and we will see you tomorrow.
looks just mm. like magenta and yellow from like the ink, like when you fill your ink cartridge. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty cute.